Hey guys, it's Tidbit77 here, and I just built a demonstration nuclear fusion reactor. I'm not actually fusing yet, but I will be. Okay, here it goes. And I'm only going to be running it in short pulses, because I don't have an implosion shield set up yet, and I'm just basically going under the duck and cover principle. And I am always behind, down behind cover, but still. And there it is. And that's a nice plasma discharge from the inner grid there and it's really overexposed on the camera um nice little kind of impurities burning off on the grid there pretty interesting thing there's a picture of it and you can really see the um poisure is coming out of the grid from that plasma ball on the inside and that those are just jets of ions and electrons here's another video of it there and I'm gonna, I brought down the power on this one so it's not as overexposed. And on that run you can really, really, really see what I think are impurities burning off of the grid. Now I'm resetting the GFP on the transformer and turning it off. And GFP is ground fault protection. There's another nice run. And pulses again from the GFP. And later in this video I'll show you how it works if you are interested. At more runs. And let's see. Yeah, um it is actually there's only air in the chamber. Right now I plan to inject deuterium and up 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 the voltage using uh, a form of cascade. Here's just a little pan around of the camera or the fuser, panning the camera around, uh, gives you a nice view. There's another good picture of it. You can really see that plasma uh, inside the grid. And here's how it works. Okay. Okay, I've got my inner and outer grids in here, inside that vacuum chamber. It's just pumped down to a very, very, very high vacuum. Got my inner grid collection here. Little toroid, toroid grid. Got a classic spherical grid. And a heart shaped grid. And of course, the integrated in the chamber, which is arguably my favorite. Now, here's my crudely designed instrument panel. I've got a voltage and amperage meter and equipment with a meter and um, some meter and equipment which I built to take light readings. And I've got my halon fire extinguisher. Here's the board which I use to take uh, data from the light output of the plasma and a uh, light dependent resistor sensor. Onto the vacuum system. The vacuum system consists of a Welch 1399 pump connected to my vacuum system, which has a thermistor gauge, a vacuum valve, and a goes into the chamber. Now the electrical system. Got my 0 to 120 volt variable auto transformer into my 15,000 volt neon sign transformer, which goes all the way into my rectifier, converting AC to DC power. And then amperage meter and equipment there, and my voltage meter and equipment. Now the main line goes down, negative 9,500 volts DC. That is, assuming that the current isn't being limited in any way, into the bottom of the spark plug, which I'm using as feeds, and into the inner grid. Charges that negatively. Now here's where it gets interesting. Due to field of mission most of the air in the chamber is ionized and that's basically taking the electrons off of the nuclei of the atoms. This causes um, basically all the nuclei which are positive charge to go into the inner grid and are accelerated that way. The electrons go out towards the outer grid. Now what happens is basically the nuclei Smash together in the inner grid, and with deuterium nuclei, they fuse together. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll probably continue this project. Like I said, add a cascade to ramp up the voltage, add in deuterium injection system, and I should be fusing. And I'd like to note that this does not produce any dangerous radiation at the moment, and keep in mind the inverse square law. And also, that when it does produce radiation, it will be very adequately shielded.
thanks for watching, and many more videos coming this way, and have a good day.